bigger they are, the harder they fall. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 biggest superhero deaths. I won't let you throw your life away! Come back here! Superheroes have to get used to mortality, as it is not uncommon for their closest family members and friends to bite the bullet, often at the hands of their own nemeses. While fans seem to accept this as an inevitable comic book trope, readers are quick to tear their hair out when an iconic hero themselves suddenly dies. But no matter how fast you run, you can't save everyone. Not the ones that matter to you. For this list, we are strictly reviewing the deaths of superheroes, so non-superhero family and friends, as well as supervillains, will not be considered. And for those of you who read comics and might not be all caught up, spoiler alert. Number 10, Marvel, the first Captain Marvel. Everyone stay down. The 1982 death of the first Captain Marvel in the appropriately named series, The Death of Captain Marvel, was one of the first major Marvel Universe superhero deaths. Why? Why did you do that? Captain Marvel died of cancer due to an exposure to the villain Nitro's toxic nerve gas. Whether this was the intent of his death or not, Burn Traitor. This comic depicted Marvel superheroes coming to terms with the reality of a superhero succumbing to cancer, something that until that time was a real-world only threat. I enjoy your species' gift for understatement. Number 9. Rorschach Never compromise. Not even in the face of Armageddon. Dr. Manhattan won't do it. Do it! Oh, alright then. This death shocked comic book readers back in 1987. As while everyone knew the series was coming to a close, the tough-as-nails, incorruptible Rorschach has to live, right? Nope. Because there is good and evil, and evil must be punished. When Ozymandias has Dr. Manhattan convinced that the sacrifice of thousands of lives benefits the greater good, Rorschach refuses to back down. While a part of him can't help but believe that Ozymandias might be right, there still can be no compromise with evil, and Dr. Manhattan is forced to kill Rorschach in order to keep Ozymandias' plan intact. No! <sighs> Number 8. Peter Parker slash Spider-Man twice. He must have given up. Thrown in the towel. What's worse than seeing your favorite superhero die? Seeing your favorite superhero die twice in the same year. Parker gets it back to back in two different universes. Earth-616, the regular Marvel Universe, and in the Marvel Ultimate Universe. Back in 2012, Peter Parker of the Marvel Ultimate Universe was shot by the Punisher and died battling the Green Goblin. Then, Earth-616 Spider-Man died when Dr. Octopus switched minds with Spider-Man, and Doc Ock's body died, destroying Peter's consciousness. What were they thinking putting Dr. Octopus's mind in Spider-Man's body? Number 7. Wolverine, Logan, James Howlett. Logan. You're slipping. Wolverine's adamantium skeleton and advanced healing abilities have always protected him. Versions of him have been ripped apart, had his skeleton torn out, and even devoured, yet he always pulled through. However, the 2014 series, Death of Wolverine, put him down for good, supposedly. A virus nullified Wolverine's healing power during which time Wolverine hunted down the founder of Weapon X, Dr. Abraham Cornelius. During the course of their fight, he was covered in liquid adamantium and, unable to remove it, suffocated and died. So much for being a survivor. Number 6. Charles Xavier, Professor X I'm Charles Xavier. Would you like some breakfast? Professor X has been killed several times, but his most recent death is quite the doozy. During the climax of 2012's event, Avengers vs. X-Men, Cyclops has been driven mad by the Phoenix Force and finds himself at odds with his lifetime mentor and friend, Charles Xavier. Cyclops, Storm, and Jean were some of my first students. At first, Professor X tries to reason with Cyclops, and failing that, fights Cyclops directly. What exactly happens between the two is unknown, but when the dust settles, Professor X is found dead at Cyclops' feet. I don't sense anything. Number 5. Barry Allen, The Second Flash Barry! Stop! You have to stop! The Flash has long been an iconic DC Universe hero. Thus, the 1985 death of The Flash's second persona, Barry Allen, left fans horrified. What are you doing? 
You can't escape. You can't reach the bomb to disarm it. You're going to die. The Flash died defending mankind, and readers were forced to see Barry's face disintegrate frame by frame into nothingness. This was DC's first major superhero death, perhaps following in the footsteps of Marvel's previous Captain Marvel death, and has been referenced several times in other adaptations of the character. Kid! Number 4. Steve Rogers, Captain America As difficult as this is to accept, Captain America is a fugitive from S.H.I.E.L.D. Marvel's epic 2006 Civil War storyline was tough on several major superheroes. However, no one got it quite as bad as Captain America. It kind of feels personal. After surrendering to Tony Stark and turning himself in to face a trial, Cap is gunned down on the steps of the courthouse. Crossbones fires at Captain America with a sniper rifle, and while everyone is distracted, a brainwashed Sharon Carter delivers the killing blow. Number 3. Jean Grey For this I am sorry, Cyclops. Goodbye, my love. Jean Grey's dramatic and iconic death occurred in 2005, while Jean Grey was possessed by the Phoenix. You wish me to give up the body? Never! After suffering mental manipulation from the villain, the Mastermind, Phoenix became deranged and turned into the deadly Dark Phoenix, forcing the Jean Grey Summers that we all love into the entity's subconscious. Quickly, while I still have control. Stop her now! Jean psychologically struggled to be released from Dark Phoenix's mental prison, and was eventually able to give enough physical control to destroy herself and save the universe from the scourge of the Dark Phoenix once and for all. The light. Oh, Scott. If only you could see it. Number 2. Superman There was a time that we all thought the Man of Steel was impervious to death. Then, in 1993, DC's iconic hero died squaring off against the world's most deadly villain to date, Doomsday. Superman didn't go down easy, as he also killed Doomsday in the process. So I guess it's a stalemate. We gotta hand it to DC, as it did seem like Soups was dead for good. However, the Man of Steel is too big an icon to stay dead, and eventually he returned after having his body regenerated in the Fortress of Solitude. Before we unveil our number one superhero death, let's review some honorable mentions. Number 1. Jason Todd, the second Robin The death of Jason Todd, the second boy wonder, was and still is the most upsetting and brutal superhero death to date. Readers were subjected to some pretty terrifying imagery, as the Joker beat an injured Robin almost to death with a crowbar. What hurts more, A or B, forehand or backhand? Then, as Batman is mere meters away from saving Jason, a bomb goes off, seemingly killing the Boy Wonder. What's most disturbing about this murder is that it was voted for by Batman fans, with a total of 5,343 for and 5,271 against. Sorry Jason, the fans have spoken. Jason. Do you agree with our list? Why does one death matter against so many? What's your favorite superhero death? For more excellent top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Show's over, mother.